Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Tears to Breakthrough Virtual Conference Center. This is our V room, our virtual space. So welcome if this is your first time. If this is not your first time, then you know that you should be inviting someone new in to our virtual space. Amen. This is a sisterhood here. We lift each other up in prayer. We stand in a gap for each other and we share our stories authentically. Amen. And so this is the place to be. But I just want to encourage you this morning. This is your morning wake up call. Amen. I want to wake you up to the fact that God is a loving Heavenly Father who has not forgotten about you. Amen. This is your tears to breakthrough moment, meaning that whatever you're going through right now, if you are a part of this ministry, if you are a part of this movement, we are breaking through it together. You are not alone. Amen. I am Carolyn Ritter Watson, your purpose pusher. I'm the founder and the overseer of the tears movement. And I am here to serve you in it with any way that I can. Amen. And so welcome if this is your first time. But this morning, I just want to encourage you. God has laid it on my heart to share with you. Um, you know, he showed me that many of you are just struggling. You're fearful about some things, some new chapters in your life. You know, there's some changes that has taken place. You know, whether you have to move to a new home or a new city or you know, um, you know, you lost your job and you're starting a new job or, 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 you know, whatever you might even have just gotten married and it might be scary because it's all new to you. Or you might've just had a baby and it's scary, even though it's beautiful, but it's scary because it's all new to you. But God has just showed me this morning that, that many of you are walking in fear and you're scared. You're afraid of this new chapter. Amen. And I just wanted to come on this morning and encourage you that everything that you've gone through has brought you to such a time as this. And even though it's scary, even though it's challenging, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. When God brings us to something, he will bring us through it. Amen. And so he's going to, he's going to bring you through this as scary as it may seem. You know, I know I'm in a new chapter in my life, you know, and and it can be scary, but I, I can do this because God has equipped me for such a time as this. And he's no respecter of persons. He has equipped you for such a time as this. And so I just want to encourage those who are walking in fear this morning. We know that fear is a spirit, one that God has not given to us. So God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. That means a well-disciplined mind. That means you don't have to be... <clears throat> you know, stress out about this thing, you know, but you have to trust God, even in this chapter in your life. It's new. It's all new, but it's all good. Amen. It's all good. So if you have not stopped by this morning to our V room, our virtual space, our Tears to Breakthrough Conference Center, virtual conference center, please do and say good morning and check out our morning post. I'm going to read that to you right now. And, um, and then we're going to, you know, diving into some scripture and I'm going to pray and I'm going to let you go. Amen. So listen, so our post of the day, it says, I command you, I command you be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord. Your God is with you wherever you go. And I'm going to read that to you again. I command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And that's our morning post. And so I want to encourage you today to be strong and courageous. You can do this thing. You can do this thing. You absolutely can. Okay. Um, you can, you can. So let's take it to scripture. Let's go. This is the scripture that God has laid on my heart this morning. So let me find my scripture here. Okay, so I want to read. I just kind of want to talk a little bit about Moses. Okay, we're familiar with Moses. So in Deuteronomy 1, it's talking about, you know, Moses is basically encouraging Um giving some encouraging words to Israel. And so it says, Moses went and spoke these words to all Israel. And he said to them, I am 120 years old today. I am no longer able to come and go. And the Lord has said to me, you shall not cross this Jordan. It is the Lord 
your God, who will cross ahead of you. He will destroy these nations before you and you shall dispo dispose of them. And so Joshua is the one who will cross ahead of you. Just as the Lord has spoken, the Lord will do to them just as he did, you know. And so in other words, I'm going to stop right there. You know, Moses is saying he can't go. This is a new chapter. He's gone as far as he can go. Amen. And he can't go any further. But that doesn't mean that you have to stop. And so this is for somebody out there. So you've had some people with you and they've gone as far as they can go. And now, you know, but you have to keep going because God has, this is your assignment. And I always talk about God has a unique assignment for each and every one of us on this earth. And, and in that assignment, God will send different people in your life depending on you know what season you're in there's different people that will come some will stay for the long haul and some will come and some will go um but it's important that we understand when a person's season is up and so god is saying listen moses is like look i've i've gone as far as i can go i'm i'm old now i can't go with i can't go with and i know some of you are right there where you know you're you're feeling fearful because there there were people in your corner that are no longer there. I mean, I can relate. I know what that feels like, right? I can relate. But I do know that there are seasons in our life where we have to go it alone. And God will begin to add new people to your life that's going to help you carry out that vision, that's going to help you carry out that purpose that, 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 that um, you know, God has given you, um, that, that unique assignment. Amen. And so some of you are right there, whether you're, you're, entering into a new career and, and you know going back to school or having to move to a new town or new country or whatever whatever ch whatever chapter you're in now and you're allowing fear to kick in i want to tell you to get rid of that fear be strong and courageous amen trust god and so with that said i'm going to go um, back to scripture amen let me find my scripture again um I just want to encourage you in that. And so, you know, we talked about Moses and how, you know, Moses spoke spoke those words to all Israel. Um, and so in Deuteronomy 1, I'm sorry, De Deuteronomy 31, uh, 5 through 7, I'm going to read that to you. And, and Moses is encouraging the people right now, just like I want to encourage you. And so Moses saying, the Lord will deliver them up before you and you shall do to them according to all the commands commandments which i have commanded you be strong and courageous do not be afraid or tremble at them for the lord your god is the one who goes with you he will not fail you or forsake you hallelujah hallelujah then moses called to joshua and said to him in the sight of all israel be strong and courageous for you shall go with this this people into the land which the Lord has sworn to their fathers to give them and you shall give it to them as an inheritance. And so Moses has gone as far as he can. Some of those people that have been ride or die with you, they have gone with you as far as they can. And now it's time for you to walk into this new season. This is your time. This is your season. Um, and for a season, you may have to go it alone. But trust me, God is going to begin to send different people in your life to help you in that situation. He is. And so, you know, you might have lost some people. Um, and, and, and some people that were very close to you. I know so many people have experienced loss of, of, of close relatives and, and um, spou even spouses and, and even children. And so, <coughs> so it's understandable that you're, you're, you're afraid, you're fearful of what's next. God is saying today, be strong and be courageous. Be strong and be courageous. I want you to just say that throughout the day that they say, I'm going to be strong and I'm going to be courageous. And so Deuteronomy 31, 6, it says, be strong and courageous. Don't be terrified or afraid of them. Don't be afraid of them. What is your them that you're afraid of? Be strong and courageous. Don't be terrified or afraid of them. Whatever your them is, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. And I want to give you one more scripture. 
Genesis 28, 15, it says, Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land for a for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Ooh, God is such a loving heavenly father. He promises that he will never leave you nor forsake you. And even though you might feel alone and lonely right now, God has not left you. He is there with you. Amen. Um, and so I just wanted to encourage somebody in that today, you know, be strong and courageous, be strong and courageous. You can do this. You are built for this. Everything you've gone through have led you to this place. You were, it was setting you up and preparing you for such a time as this, and you can handle it. You can, I promise you, you can, I promise you, you can. And so I'm just going to pray right now. I'm just going to pray. Father God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Good morning, Daddy. We just want to honor you this morning. We just want to lift you up this morning. We want to give you glory this morning, Lord God. Hallelujah. We thank you today, Lord. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And we thank you for this new day, Lord God. We thank you for this new season, Lord God. The, the doors that you're opening for us, Lord God. We understand that there are some doors that you're going to close, Lord God, because they need to be closed. That season is up. But then there are some doors that you're opening and you're opening them up wide and all we have to do is walk in, walk into the door, get to the other side, hallelujah, and everything will be good. Help us to trust you, Lord God, in this new season, Lord God. Help us to be strong and courageous, Lord God. Help us to not walk in, in doubt and fear, Lord God. I come against any spirit, of, of fear and the spirit of doubt right now in the name of Jesus because we are walking by faith Lord God we are trusting you today we're walking by faith and not by sight even though we can't see the end we don't see the outcome yet but we're going to trust you anyway in this season and so we thank you God we honor you we praise you today Lord and finally Lord I speak a third John blessing I pray above all things that we will prosper, that we will be in health, even as our soul prospers. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Listen, hold your head up high, be strong, be courageous. You can do this. You can do this thing. I promise you, you can. Amen. I am Carolyn Ritter Watson, your purpose pusher. This was your tears to break through moment and your morning wake up call. You can do this. You can do this. Everything you've gone to, through has brought you here. For such a time as this. And now it's time for you to go into the next cha next chapter. Flip the page. It's time for you to go to the next chapter. Flip the page. Amen. Um, don't forget to check out the end of this video where I have um, some items from my clothing line. Um, from my Layla Simone Shop for a Cause clothing line with my beautiful granddaughter Layla. Um, that's our business that we share. <laughs> together i'm teaching my baby girl entrepreneurship amen and so yeah check out our line we support nonprofits that support women in crisis amen and we support other um nonprofits as well some youth related nonprofits and some um you know breast cancer awareness and research as well so check us out god bless you you have a blessed and marvelous day and i will see you next time right here in our v room in our virtual space our tears of breakthrough virtual conference center god bless you if you need to reach me you can do that at tears in a bottle the number eight at gmail.com that's tears in a bottle number eight at gmail.com i'll see you next time god bless